the white man say, hey, your baby ain't born unless I sign off on that. That's right. He took that right from you. Man. He took that right from you. Tell you ain't dead unless I sign off that you did. Hey, what's going on with you, bro? What's going on? How old are you, man? What's your, matter of fact, what's your name? Benjamin. Benjamin? Oh. Woo, woo, woo. Yes, yes, Benjamin, how old are you, man? 22. 22. You in college? No. You in college? Just working. Just working. Oh, I, I, I respect that. Let me ask you something, man. What's your, what's your history? What you mean? What I mean? Like, what, like, you talking about, like, my yeah, history? Yeah, like, yeah, who do you descend from? Before the slave ships, who do we call ourselves? Black. Black. I said, notice how I said before the slave ships, now. Because that term black was put on us in the what? No, that, that term been on us since damn near uh, Jim Crow. You know what I'm saying? You know what black, you know, uh, is there a land of black you can go to? Is there a continent called black? Africa. Uh, Africa? Africa, right? <laughs> Leo Scipio's Africana, you familiar with that name? That's a white man who conquered Africa in the uh, Second Punic Wars. He put, matter of fact, oh, uh, no, I don't want that. He put, he put his name on that land and started calling us that. So do you descend from a white man? No? Who do you descend from then? That's something we should be asking ourselves. You say you you say you ain't in college, right? What did you learn in school about yourself? What did you learn in history class? I learned nothing. You ain't learned nothing. I didn't even. I didn't even. What year you graduated? 2017. I graduated the same year. I ain't learned a damn thing. Guess what, bro? My name is Mark. My bad. myself. Oh, we out here showing our people. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Go back to verse 15. Deuteronomy 28, 15. What we out here trying to show our people is that we descend from the people of the book. We the Israelites according to the Bible. Guess what? Your, your oppression, I'm gonna say, we're going to make it personal. Your oppression, your brothers getting shot down in the streets, your brothers killing each other, the slave ships, all of that is in the Bible. Did you know that? That wasn't shown to us in school, and that's by design, too. Watch this. We finna show you your history today. Watch this. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now this is Moses speaking in the wilderness to the uh, children of Israel. You familiar with that, right? Yeah. Children of Israel coming out of Egypt. Yeah. Save my people. Yeah. These, these, this is him speaking to the Israelites. Watch this. To observe, to do all his commandments. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall, co shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God gave us commandments to abide by, to, to govern ourselves by. But guess what? We as black men and black women, we didn't keep that. So what happened? Give me verse 48. I want to get to the point. What happened to us since we didn't keep God's commandments? This is, not, this is Moses speaking to the Israelites. And he, uh, whenever you go to church, Whenever you watch movies around Christmas time, they show uh, movies like Ten Commandments, uh, Prince of Egypt. They always look uh, white. Anything close to white, that's how they always look. But watch, we're going to show you who they really look like. Therefore, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Now this is what was going to happen to the Israelites for breaking his commandments. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Brother, how are we serving our enemies? Are we serving our enemies? Yo, how? Why you say that? We killing our enemies. Huh? Killing our enemies. We killing our enemies? No, not necessarily. That ain't what I'm looking for. No. How we serving our enemies? You say you work, right? You got your own place? Not yet? But guess what? We serving our enemies because we got to go to them for jobs. That's how we serving them. For everything. And it's going to show you that. Watch this. In hunger! So one way we're going to serve our enemies is hunger, right? We're going to go back. In slavery, right? What our people, what uh, our people used to get fed by the slave masters? Slop, pig feet, uh, what else? Chitlins, hog mall, all the stuff that they love down here, down south. You from down here? DC. You from DC? Okay, even up there though, they like they, they like shrimp, crab, lobster, all that stuff. You know, all that was fed to us by our enemies, right? So even and going up to today, when you want to provide, when you want to provide for your family, when you want to buy groceries. You gotta go to the enemies. We don't own Walmart. We don't. We don't own none of these generational lasting uh, grocery stores. It ain't us. We don't got nothing to own. And even if we do own something, we gotta go to them. That's right. God, that's prophecy.
see it to the black man. Read, read on. And in thirst. And in thirst. You drink? You don't drink Hennessy? You drink Hennessy? Who mass produces Hennessy? Huh? The white man mass produces Hennessy. That's right. When you break that seal on that Hennessy bottle, that's the government seal that you break. That's he right. He mass produces that to our people. That's Making right. Making us think we living good just because we got a bottle of Hennessy. That's oh. right. When you want to pay your water bill, guess what? You gotta go. You gotta go to your enemy. That's right. He shuts off your water bill. That's right. When it, when we had this land, we 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 could get water web whenever we want. That's right. But now we gotta go to them for that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you don't got water unless I say you got water. Yeah. You better pay your bill. Yeah. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah. Read on. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. What you got on, man? You just got off work. Yeah. Who you? Who you? Your boss gave you that shirt, didn't he? Yeah. Where you work at? Uh, Morrison. Huh? Atrium Health. Yeah. Atrium Health. Guess what? Our people don't own no Atrium Health. That's right. We don't own the clothing that's on our back. That's right. Brothers think, brothers and sisters think, just because they able to wear Nike, Gucci, Fendi, I don't know if they still wear those things. Prada, all this type stuff. They think we do, we doing it up. Oh no, man, you serve your enemies. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Those were made by Italian people. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's your history, brother. This is something that's going. That's, this is something that we're going through today. Yeah. Read on. And in want of all things. And everything that you want. You want a job? You want a license? Guess what? If you want to, hey, if you, if you want to give birth to your baby, the white man say, hey, your baby ain't born unless I sign off on that. That's right. He took that right from you. Yeah. He took that right from you. Tell the truth. You ain't dead unless I sign off that you dead. Tell the truth. Everything that we want, we got to go to him. That's right. You want to provide for your family, you got to come to me first. That's, That's what the right. white man said. That's right. Our people think they got, they got it good in America. No, no man, this is the land of your captivity. Right. You the second class citizens in America. Right. You the people at the bottom. That's right. It's time for us to wake up. Read on. And he shall put a yoke of iron. And that same enemy that you got to go to, brother. What's your name, what's your name again? Benjamin. That same enemy that you got to go to for everything. Guess what that same enemy was going to do? Watch this. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. God says that that same enemy was going to put a yoke of iron in your neck. When did that happen? You can even type this stuff up on Google. You type up a yoke of iron, what's going to come up? A black man with a damn chain on his neck. Looking like, chain up like a dog. That happened to us. Read that again. And he, I want to make sure he get it. Read that. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Until he have destroyed you. Until you was destroyed. Because when I asked you, you said you were black. But guess what? That was taught to you when they broke you off them chains. You ain't gonna be nothing when they broke that chain off you. They said, oh, he ain't going nowhere. He gonna be right here. Because what happened? What happened in slavery? When our, when our people was emancipated in 1865, guess what? They couldn't find no job. So they said, hell, shit, I'm just stay, I'm just stay. That's what they call the sharecropping, right? The sharecroppers. They say, yeah, we, we don't got nowhere else to go. We got to stay here then. You know what I'm saying? That's what happened to us. How you doing, brother? How you doing? Read. Verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. What's your name again? I'll be getting your name. Benjamin, right? Benjamin. So guess what? Give me verse 16. You look like you're trying to go. <laughs> nah, man. Hey, you getting A. Hey, this is the good news, brother. You, a hey, how old are you? You say you're 20? 22. 22? Guess what, man? I'm 24, man. This is the greatest time to be living. Right. I'm telling you, at the age we at, hey, this is the best time to be living, brother. This your day. Give me that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. So, brother, let me ask you something, right? <clears throat> Before today, matter of fact, did you ever think slave ships was in the Bible? You ain't never think that, right? You go to church? You went to church with your parents? Did you want to go? Yeah, nah, I didn't either. I used to be sleeping in the church. <laughs> right. Hey, uh, I don't know if you've seen that post on uh, Instagram. When the, uh, when, the, when the young boy, when they gave him a chance to speak in church, he said, I hate this church. <laughs> no, he said, I'm tired of this church. You ain't never seen that? Yeah, man. Us young people, we tired of being lied to. We tired, we tired of looking like fools, man. We know what they doing in church ain't nothing, man. We go to we go to church on Sunday acting like we righteous. 
But when we go back home, we go into the club, we're doing all kind of manner of evil. Watch this, brother. Your history is in the Bible. Watch what God about to say. The book of this, this, now remind you, this happened to the Israelites. This didn't happen to black people. Watch this. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Man, you got to read that right. Read it powerful. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Brother, when did we go back to Egypt as a nation? Have you ever heard of, you remember us coming out of Egypt, right? Did we ever go back? As a, a whole group of people, as a whole group, as a whole group, did we go back? No, right? So read it, uh, read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee. So we're going to figure out what's this Egypt that he's really talking about. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. God says that he was going to bring the Israelites back into Egypt with ships. We know that didn't happen over there. That happened here in America. Right. We the Israelites, brother. You the Israelites according to the Bible. God says that the Israelites were going to go back into Egypt, right? When we was in Egypt, we were slaves. So guess what he said? When you go back, this time you're going to go back as the, in the same condition, but this time with ships. That happened to black people. Right. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Read. By the whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. God says that when you win the slavery on ships, what was going to happen after that? Read that part again. Thou shalt see it no more again. God, Moses said you wasn't going to see your homeland again. Your homeland is Jerusalem, brother. It ain't Africa. It's in Africa, but our people just say Africa. But specifically, it's Jerusalem. And it damn sure ain't here in America. Y'all people was here first, but no, God gave us Jerusalem. In fact, he gave us the whole world. That's why we're here trying to show our people. Read it again. Oh, read that part again. Thou shalt see it no more again. God says that when you went when you went on ships into America, he says that you wasn't going to see your homeland again. Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Look at this, brother. Look at what he's, he's on the auction block. Look at look at the so-called look at the so-called white woman. I forgot what this movie is called. But when you was a slave, right? When you was in hard bondage. Oh, uh, this one right here. Uh, say goodbye, Qatar, right? Yeah, here we go. When he was on that auction block, the so-called white woman, she came and see how big his penis was. That's how. That's what white women used to do to us. When they used to inspect us for sicknesses, yeah. white women, they used to come and inspect their penises. Why? Yeah. Because they had a fetish for black men. That's right. That's how, that's how filthy these people is. That's what they did to us as black men. Dehumanized us. That's right. That happened when we came over here to America. That's right. Read. And there you shall be sold until your enemy. You were sold, brother, on that that's auction right. block. You were, you were sold in Puerto Rico on that auction block. That's right. You were sold in South America on that auction block. That's right. You were sold here in America on the auction block, brother. That's right. Read. For born men and born women. For a slave man and slave women. Come, brother. Is that my interpretation? And what we just read, is that my interpretation? All we doing is reading out the Bible. That's right. Read it again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. Uh -huh. And no man shall buy you. God says that no man was going to redeem you. That's what that means. No man was going to save you. You had brothers like Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. These were some great men. But guess what? When they died, what did black people do? They just fell back into the world. They went back to sleep. They got lazy. That's right. But there is one man who's going to come back and save you, bro. That's right. Who's going to come and save us. That's right. That's this man right here. Jesus Christ, he's a black man according to the That's Bible. Right. He's your savior, That's brother. Right. You didn't know that? That's right. You know Jesus was a black man. That's right. Give me Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Bring it out. The greatest man that ever walked this earth was a black man. That's right. The most powerful black man that ever walked this earth. That's right. Jesus the Christ. Read that. That's the right. book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Verse 1. Verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Guess what? The word revelation, the root word in it is revealing. We about to reveal to you. Read that part again. The revelation of Jesus Christ. This is the revealing of Jesus the Christ. The black Messiah. Verse 14. 
Verse 14. His Matter of fact, keep reading. The revelation of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. We the servants of God, brothers. Right. We the servants. All nations can't serve God. Right. You black and Hispanic man, you the servants of God. Right. He gave his Bible to you. Right. This ain't a white man's book. That's hey, right. brothers. Hey, brothers with the dreadlocks. Hey, y'all know y'all the kings of the earth. Y'all the kings of the earth. But guess what? We don't walk. We don't act like it. We don't act like it, brothers. Read on. Watch this. And he sent and signified it by his angels unto his servant John. John was a black man according to the Bible. John the Revelator, he's a black man. Read on. Who bear record of the word of God. So John, John, he's writing down with what? Who bear record of the word of God uh -huh. and of the testimony of Jesus Christ uh -huh. and of all things that he saw. So this man is writing down things that he's actually seen. Not something that he, it's, it ain't no vision. He's actually seeing this. Who did he see? Verse 14. Verse 14. Look, brother. What's your name? What's your name? Cabo. Cabo? Yeah. My name is Marcon, man. What's going on with you? How old are you? 15. You're 15 years old. So you in the what? The 10th grade? You in the 10th grade. Guess what, man? The, the greatest man that ever walked this earth was a black man that looked just like you. That's right. Was just as dark as you. That's, yeah. right. That's right. Read on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. What was uh, Jesus' hair? His head and his hairs were white like wool. So Jesus Christ's head and his hair was white like wool. Right. Let me ask you something real quick, Mr. Passage. Do you find white woolly hair on any of these images? Uh, dog hair. That string you hair, that go that's goat hair. Read that part again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Hey, bro brother with a black shirt, what's your name? What's your name? Ryan. All right. Man, pull up your pants, man. How old are you? 55. You 55 years old. Brother, pull up your pants, man. Come on, now. All right. We kings, man. Let, let's act like kings. Right. We ain't boys like America told us. Right. Come on. His head and his hairs were white like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow. So Christ had gray hair. That's what we consider gray hair today. Right. Read on. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Hey, brother, brother. I keep forgetting his name. This is Benjamin. 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 That's, I, I can't forget that. He's asking if this is all about slavery. Is this all about slavery? Yeah. No, it ain't all about slavery. This is about repentance. This is about redemption. That's right. Yes, we did go into slavery, but guess what? We are coming out of slavery. That's right. And we want you to and we want you to we want you to come out of slavery too. That's you too, right. brothers. You've been living on this earth for 55 years. Guess what? For the first time in 55 years, you getting the truth. That's right. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Uh -huh. And it's so Christ had red eyes just like our uncles, just like our daddies. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. His what? And his feet like unto fine brass. Brother, you know what brass is? Brass is like a, like a trumpet or a trombone. It's like a, it's like a goldish type color. It's a derivative of brown. It comes from brown. Read on. As if, yes, sir. Oh, that's right. You see this? Like this. Right. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. Read, that, read it again. And his feet like unto fine bread. So John is looking down at Jesus the Christ's feet, right? And he said it looked like fine bread. That's right. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. But that, fir that fine bread was like it burned in a furnace. That's right. Right? What's the joke that we used to say as kids? You were like a burnt biscuit, right? Guess what? Read it again. As if they burned in a furnace. Guess what? Christ was a black man, a charcoal man. That's right. Guess what? You look just like him. That's, right. That's your savior, brother. That's this ain't right. your savior. That's Christ right. was a black man. Read. That's right. And his voice as the sound of many waters. So Christ spoke loud like a real man. That's right. right. America say, ah, oh, you don't gotta talk so loud. Calm down. No. That's right. We the kings of the earth. Free us. Right. We was made to dominate the planet. That's right. But you failed, brother. We failed, brother. That's, right. That's what we're trying to show you. Let me ask you something, brother. So I read earlier that we broke God's commandments when we read Deuteronomy 28 15. The slave ships, all that happened to us because we broke God's commandments. That's right. So let me ask you something, brother. Right? If that's the case, what, what we got to do to come up out of slavery? How are we going to reverse things? 
by following the same thing he told us that, that would put us in his predicament. It's what? His commandments. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel, what do the Lord thy God require you of thee? Guess what? You're 22 years old. Guess what? God requires something of you. As a young man, he requires something of you. See that? That's what I'm talking about. That's mental bondage. 28, 28. Deuteronomy 28, 28. This is what this is what we trying to get from. That's madness, brother. We said, what we what we are what we are here showing you? We showing you truth, and he over there yelling like he don't got no sense. Now what that man is on? Read on. The book of Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight, verse twenty eight. This is something else that happened to us for breaking God's commandments. Read. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. God smote some. God smote our brothers with madness. Ain't no telling what he been going through. God smote that brother with madness. That's that's prophecy that you that we just seen. Read again. And the Lord shall smite thee with madness. God made us crazy. Why? Because we didn't follow him. Read. And blindness and astonishment of heart. That brother, like, these brothers are blind. We are here giving our people their history back. But he can't, he can't control himself to even come over there and listen. If he ain't drunk, or huh? Read. And thou shalt group at noonday. Go back to, uh, what I had you? 10 and 12, all right. Brother, we got to do right now. We got to keep God's commandments. Give me uh, Titus 2 and uh, verse 6. Titus chapter 2 and verse 6. You smoke? You smoke? You smoke weed? Do you now? Okay. You know what I'm supposed to be doing that, right? You say you're 22 years old. That's what, man. You don't want to be doing that, destroying yourself. You ain't going to, you may not live, you may not even live to see 80 smoking at a young age like that. I'm 24 years old. Each brother, got to give him the word. Y'all do right. You know what I'm saying? We got to give hey, him the word. Hey, guess what? Food. When did you start smoking? In high school? Yes. Yeah, I, that's, that, that's usually when it starts. Yeah. I started smoking in high school. Hey, we trying to be cool. We just trying to fit in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the man with all the weed, he don't want. He don't want to hang around. We can't. We can't. Uh uh. It's time to let that go, brother. It's time to let that go. Right. Hey, this is the truth. Right. This is the truth. Right. Watch this. Watch what God about to say. The Book of Titus, chapter two and verse six. Is that young men. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Young men, likewise. So God is speaking to you, bro. That's right. What's your um? You say your father, your father's uh, so-called African American. Guess what? He's speaking to the Israelites. That's right. the, the young Israelite men right. from the tribe of Judah. That's guess what he about to say to you? Read that again. Young men, likewise, Benjamin, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. Guess what? God says that Benjamin got to exhort to be sober-minded. That's right. You got to be proud to be sober-minded. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's Can't right. put that. Don't put that. Don't put that smoke in your lungs no more. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.